around here. I'm joined by a whole lot of my friends and thank you for joining us as well. We love having you along. Now, uh, <laughs> we've just had a runaway cat because we've got a whole lot of animals in here and um, we've just had it. We'll find it in a minute. Now, uh, Katrina, you or oh, Caitlin, you've got your rat here, Rosie. Now, uh, is Rosie scared of cats? Yes. Um, I, th I would have thought that Rosie would have ran away, but never mind. And we've got Ben over here with Zam. Now, is Zam scared of cats? Yeah. He is. Again. It's funny how the cat ran away when the cat would have been, you know, thinking that this is their prey. But that's funny. <laughs> now, um, take a look over here, everybody, because as you know, this week we've been working from our 101 things to do before you grow up. Look at our plantation. I mean, it's come a long way since Monday. So, you can do lots of things from this book. We've got some to give away online if you're keen. And speaking of prizes, our Haramuku doll today is going to Evelyn who um, can't have animals around the house, so she volunteers at the SPCA. We thought that was fantastic. Okay, so from these cuties, we have to go find that cat in a minute. <laughs> we have got some huge, raging bulls. Here we go on the Aaron Simpson Show. So, I'm a girl from the Waikato. You know, I love milking, I love rearing calves, I love feeding out to cows, but I've got to say, I don't really know a lot about bulls, let alone riding them. So today, we are going to bull school. Bull riding started back in 1869 in old West America and is an official sport. It's an extreme test of courage and strength where the rider has to stay mounted for at least eight seconds. It's so risky it has been labelled the most dangerous eight seconds to be had in sports. So have you ever wondered how boys become cowboys? They come here. The 8 second bull riding school which is at White Rock Main Farm in North Canterbury. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> now team, this is Duncan McIntosh and he runs 8 second bull riding. So Duncan, you take the bulls to the rodeo and yeah. you also train um, pros here as well. This is our training facility here and, and I mean we spend a lot of time with them and and then once we feel that they've got enough, we take them to the rodeos. And, and the bulls as well, which you can see in the back here. Now they're kind of like athletes themselves, aren't they? I oh, mean, totally. You've got how many? 35 here? Yeah. Yeah. The thing I love about your school is the, the names that you give to the bulls. Like we've got um, Megatron here. What are some of the other names though? Uh, we've got Devil's Express and Desert Storm and yeah, Sea <laughs> Stars. And... Who names them? Oh, just anyone that can come up with a good random name. The ride is scored from 0 to 100 points. Both the rider and the bull are awarded points. Pro riders can get scores of 75 or more. And if you ever meet a bull with a score of 80 or more, run the other way. All right, team, time to meet some cowboys. We've got William, Jono, uh, Sam and Cor. What I find interesting is not judged on how long you actually stay on the bull for, is it? No, it's uh, technique and how good the bulls are. So do you learn technique here, Sam? Oh yeah, you learn quite a lot of technique here. Um, the McIntosh brothers are both pretty good bull riders and uh, they know how to sort of tell us what it is about. And Cor, you're pretty new to bull riding. Um, maybe a year you've been doing it for? Yeah, just on a year. Yeah, and yes. so what have you learnt so far? Oh, just uh, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, William, you're actually the equivalent to a rodeo clown. Yeah, pretty much just help cowboys get him away from the bull. So you distract the bull. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it sounds so fun, doesn't it, team? <laughs> So we have learnt if you want to be a bull rider, you've got to be brave, talented, good with bruises and also made of rubber. Handy. <laughs> now, if you're keen to learn more, head over to the NZ Rodeo Cowboys Association, rodeonz.co.nz. Here we go on the Aaron Simpson Show.
show. Yeah, now to be honest, I was a little scared. Just like Cyril was a wee minute ago, but we've found Cyril, haven't we, Maddie? Yeah. Now, do you think, because we've also got a bearded dragon and some chinchillas coming in, is Cyril going to be all right with those? Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't mind them. Oh, good. Now, do you have a hamster? No. No, would you be keen to get one? Yeah. Oh, same. Once I found this YouTube clip, check out how clever they are. If you think that was cute, yesterday if you missed the show for our fame game challenge, we got to dress up these little cuties. I and, see where this is going. You can see where it's going, <laughs> can't you? And I think it's a little bit more even, there's a bit blobby through there, but... Now, they actually have inspired today's entertainment. We are having a pooch parade. Mm-hmm, a dog fashion show. So, if I was you, I wouldn't be going anywhere. Now, um, for now, Monty got in touch with us and wanted to go gaming with Chang, so we hooked him up. So come and take it! Hi, I'm Monty Sansom. I'm 11 years old and I live in Auckland. My dream would be to meet Chang Hung and play some games against him. And thanks to the Ewan Simpsons show, I'm going to meet him. Hello, Monty. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. The first game we're playing is called Split Second. It's a brand new car racing game available on PlayStation 3. Are you ready? Sure. Let's go. Way in front of me. Oh, I skid out. Monty, you better slow down. Go a little bit slower. Come on. To race, you're not supposed to go slow. Oh, I've tight corner. Oh, I hit the wall. Big time. Who's going to finish line first? Yes! Oh, penalty. Oh, you went on top. Oh, you stole it again. Yes, no, yes. No, no, my ball, my, my ball. ball. Oh, ball. there was a foul. Oh. You're a bear, you're a bear here, man. I won! Well, I had such an awesome afternoon playing video games with my buddy Monty here. I'd like to thank the Aaron Simpson show for making my dream come true. Oh, on behalf of Aaron, I want to thank you for coming along and sorry that I have to win most of the game. No, I won most of the games. No, 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 you didn't. I won most of it, so, you know. No, I did, I did. Oh, we can talk about that later, but remember, I won like one? No, I won one. I did. Yeah, you won only one. I won like one. No, I won the so soccer one. So that's equal. But I won the soccer one. No, I know. There was a few, wasn't it? Here we go on the Aaron Simpson show.